Uh, play wow, man, 20 hours. Oof. Oof. It's burning up, by the way. All right, while sleeping, Luke and Professor Layton have, have a disturbing dream about a supernatural ball. When they awake, they're horrified to find themselves tied up in a strange, cramped room. Their captor, Anton, soon leaves the room, giving Luke and Layton the time they need to escape. Knowing that Anton will return soon, the two aim to find a way out of the castle as soon as possible. Okay. Romas. I think it's gonna be on the floor. I don't remember where I got the first one. I can't find it, Captain. There we go. Take care that you don't slip, Luke. The floor is polished to an almost blinding shine. Wow, you're right. It's like a mirror. Who do you think does all the, this polishing? That would be me, sir. It's the butler. Yes, I most certainly am. I don't mean to be presumptuous, but what are you two doing up at this hour? If you're having trouble falling asleep, I suggest a good strong puzzle to clear and relax the mind. You're not going to try to stop us or anything? Stop you? Young sir, I haven't the foggiest notion what you're talking about. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, that puzzle. This hall has been fitted with a hidden door, though to my chagrin, I've forgotten where. However, I do recall an old saying the servants used in days past to remember the location of the door. I will now relate to you that saying, and your task, dear guests, will be to decipher the door's location. Okay. Uh, begin from the doors etched in the decor. A path will appear strong and quite clear, made of stars that flare each within its own square. These words are said to point the way to the hidden door. Select the hidden door. What? Begin from the doors etched in the decor. I don't see any doors. Oh, this might be a door. It kind of looks like a helmet. But it could be a door. A path will appear strong and quite clear. Okay, I see the path. Made of stars that flare, each within its own square. All right, so the path is here. And it kind of leads to a little arrow here. Which means I'm, you know, guessing right here. Oh. I'm just going to submit that and hope for the best. This should do the trick. Okay. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Excellent. The squares with stars containing are contained neatly inside of them form an arrow that points directly to the hidden door. That uh could have been much more difficult. Masterfully solved, sirs. Now that you've completed that little nightcap, might I suggest returning to your quarters? These halls can get quite drafty in the dead of night. I'll keep that in mind. Good night to you. And to you too. Oh. No 
hidden doors here. Jackpot! Jock? Oh. Where's, where's the hint coins here? One more. Come on. There you are. Oh. All right, well. Stuff. Professor, I think I see a way we can get out of here. Our search led us to the castle, and we're on the verge of revealing what killed Dr. Schrader. We must search this place thoroughly before we make our escape. Let's see what else is here. Gee, Professor, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Luke, listen to me. We can't turn back and run. Not now. We're so close to uncovering the truth about Full Sense and the Elysian Box. We must press on. Take a look at this picture, Professor. There he is, larger than life. The current master of Herzen Castle. You mean the guy who just tried to tie us up and drink our blood? Strange. What's strange, Professor? This picture, it shows far too much, uh, too much wear to have been made recently. Yet you saw Anton yourself. The man and his portrait are virtually identical. If he doesn't age, he must really be a vampire. I knew it. We need to get out of here this instant. Perhaps those rumors in the town weren't entirely unfounded, but running about in a panic has never solved anything. Why don't we take a moment to clear our heads with this puzzle about portraits? <laughs> Are you kidding, Professor? I don't think we really have time for this right now. That's what I'm thinking, man. Oh boy, here we go. Two brothers have inherited their parents' five-piece art collection. According to the will, the older brother will get a set of paintings worth twice what the younger brother sets or gets. In order to ascertain the value of the paintings, the brothers called in an appraiser who valued each painting as shown below. For, for his services, the appraiser was promised one, uh, the one painting left over after the brothers divided the art according to their parents' wishes. Assuming that individual paintings can't be divided, which one does the appraiser get? What's up, Super Gamer Rob? Did you miss any puzzles? You missed one puzzle, and it was the butler, and then possibly this puzzle. Um. The older brother will get a set of paintings worth twice what the younger brother get. Hmm. We might need the calculator for this one. Uh, I should probably turn on the timer. Okay, so the older brother gets a set of paintings worth twice what the younger brother gets. Oh. So, what I need to do here is I need to give the older brother three paintings. Which means that this 95 right here is probably probably going to go to the uh, younger brother. But we'll see here. Is 
with that calculator. All right, so we got 140 right here. And this would be 135. Okay. The we've got 150 here. Oh, so that's not going to work either. This one would be 120. I mean, theoretically, well, yeah, theoretically, I, I it doesn't have to be three paintings, but I figured that would be the, the trick to this. The butler puzzle was easy, at least. Yeah, it, it, it took me a second, uh, but I figured out what the doors were, and yeah. Um, that would be 115. Oh, that would be 115. Why didn't I see that before? Okay, so we got 115 here, and we got 115 here. Right? Right. We're going with D. And now Didn't even need the calculator. Oh, but I'm wrong anyways. Oh. Well, I suppose that's one I've, possibility eliminated. I, uh... I know what I did wrong. Sorry. Sometimes I forget the puzzle mid-puzzle. It happens. Um, which means that it's probably is still a, a three, three, three painting thing. Uh, so let's see. That would be 70. That would be... Well, that is promising. Uh, that is 140. Nope. That is 150. Nope. Oh, well, actually. Nope. Uh, that is 155. Probably not. Uh, that's 115. 115. Uh, probably nope well it's probably gonna have to round out to an even number which means that I'm gonna need two of these here at least two of these and uh this turns out to be a hundred this is a hundred this right here so I was correct in uh, three paintings uh, that will equal um, 120, so younger brother gets 60, and uh, the appraiser gets uh, E. Consider this puzzle solved. Got it. I, I, I had a feeling Wonderful. Uh, after I mentioned that uh, it had to be three paintings that the appraiser was going to get the most expensive one, but, you know. Hint one gives the answer totally away. <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't use any hint coins, sadly. Or unsadly. Uh, that's right. The appraiser receives painting E. The older brother inherits paintings A, C, and D, which are worth 120 total. The little brother gets a single painting worth 60,000, uh, half of what the his brother gets. In the end, the appraiser takes home the most expensive painting of all. My, isn't that convenient? Indeed. He swindled them. Nicely answered, Luke. Perhaps it didn't seem like the ideal time for a puzzle, but being able to stand back and think critically in a time of stress is a skill of utmost importance. I appreciate the sentiment, Professor, but right now solving puzzles is the last thing on my mind. 
It says that the appraiser is probably not on the up and up, i.e. the most expensive one is the answer. Aim on him. Huh. Read my hand coins. I need two more. Amtara, where you at, dog? About to give up on this, uh... Last hint coin. Alright, whatever. Not like I am in a great need of hint coins right now. This is... I do believe that's Katya. Oh. Why are you two here? I could ask you the same thing. It's dangerous here. There's a vampire living in this castle, you know. Anton? He's no vampire. He's just... Quite puzzled, Katya. What do you know about this man? Not easy for me to say. Besides, right now, you must focus all your efforts on escaping. If you linger here, the madness will grip you before long. Madness? I'm afraid I don't understand. Please be honest with us. What's happening here? Very well. I'll explain everything. But first, you must get as far from this castle as possible. Quickly. I know the way out. Follow me. How are you related to this entire situation? Are you? There's no time. You've got to get out of here. Look at her run. <laughs> this won't do. People are trying to sleep, you know. Is it you? It can't be. Oh, how I've waited. It's been so unbearably long. Professor, do you know what he's talking about? Not in the slightest. Come closer. My dear sweet Sophia, I've missed you so. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Very well then. Is this how it is? I didn't see this coming, Leighton. Not at all. I'm not sure I understand. This is your fault, but you can't have my Sophia. You're going to be very sorry you crossed me. <gasps> <gasps> There's just no lack of swords here. Take whichever one you like. Know this, though. Only one of them is real. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. <gasps> one true sword. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. These are Anton's last words to Professor Layton before the start of a, their duel. Can you find the one real sword among Anton's collection? Circle your selection uh, to draw your weapon of choice. Uh, I mean, like, these kind of look like hands right here. You know, shoulders, stuff. Well, let's just go straight into it with an answer. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. Well, I'm blind. I suppose that's it. One it, it looks like, like like a person with hands. You know, I mean, like it, it, it's pixelated, man. What's up, holy man, Bob? Thank you for the five months. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh. It's a latent puzzle. How could I have forgotten? Huh. Wonderful. Fuck a fool. Nicely done. A true warrior always keeps his blade in hand. Anton's words were a subtle hint that all the swords on the wall were for show. The only real sword in the bunch is the one sitting in the hand of a suit of armor. I'm not good at riddles. I don't, I don't like riddles. I didn't think you had it in you, Mr. Layton. Is this an appropriate time to say it's time to do 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 do? I know Leighton was a experienced fencer. Look at that superb swordsmanship. Something strange is happening. I just need to catch my breath. No more! Please, just stop! What's happened to me? Are you all right? Please just stop, Grandfather. Your body can't take it. What did you say? I don't understand. Sophia, dear. You haven't figured it out, have you? You really don't know. Then I guess it's up to me to tell you the truth. I'm your granddaughter, Anton. What happened to, like, the art? <laughs> it just like downgraded all the art. Don't be ridiculous. Look at me. I'm too young to be anyone's grandfather. But what you see around you isn't real. It's just an illusion created by your own mind. Your youth is part of that illusion. The truth is, well... Allow me, please. The gold mine built by your father, the late Duke Herzen, brought this town much growth and prosperity. But something terrible slept deep within that rich gold deposit. A uh, hallucinogen? Unbeknownst to the miners, they hit a vein of hallucinogenic gas while digging for gold. The gas made those who breathed it extremely susceptible to mental suggestion of all types. Tales of the nightmarish vision seen in full sense then spread, as did the town's sinister reputation. In truth, neither the full sense we see before us nor its residents really exist. This is all a creation of our minds. How did you figure it all out, Professor? Yeah, do tell. The images of full sense we saw are 50 years old, yet they show a town identical to the full sense of today. No town can remain unchanged for 50 long years. The photos we saw in the train station formed our impression of the full sense we'd see. A full sense of 50 years ago. Enough of this madness. False sense is real. I'm real. This makes no sense, by the way. None of it's real, Grandfather. This town is just a thin shadow. An illusion born of greed. You and Sophia? Everything you know changed 50 years ago. Fine. Katia is the granddaughter of Sophia and Anton. Katia set out for Folsens to make sure that Anton understood Sophia's true feelings and reasons for leaving. The, the hallucinogenic... 
some reason I just wanted to say hallucinogenic. Uh, gas uh, present in full senses air caused Leighton and the others to imagine the station as it was in the many photographs lining the corridor leading out of the building. Because for some reason that's that's a thing. But you and I are betrothed. How can you just leave me here? I won't have it. This whole town is cursed. If we remain here, all those dear to me will die. Am I not dear to you, Sophia? Stay with me, and we'll rebuild full sense together. I'm sorry, Anton, but there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. Is that the real reason you want to go? Because there's someone else? I trusted Sophia, and she left me for another. You've got it all wrong, Grandfather. She never betrayed you. What? The other she was talking about was the little life growing inside her. The life you two created together. No. That can't be. I'm sorry, Anton. But there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. I never knew. Sophia was... That's right. Grandmother was carrying my mother, and she left Volsens to keep her safe. She kept the baby a secret to avoid causing you more pain. I've been so wrong. Grandmother passed away last year, but she was always talking about you, even toward the end. She never stopped loving you. Okay. Uh, you mean, given a hallucinogenic gas, it makes decent sense? I don't think it makes any sense, because everybody is seeing the same visions and i don't think a hallucinogenic gas is capable of doing that like people are going to see different things and so like when you look at uh do the duke herzen now you know luke may see someone and Leighton should see someone else you know like the the pictures should not influence what they're seeing because it's a hallucinogenic gas um that's, that's just me, though, I guess. Uh, Anton invented the whole vampire scheme to scare off those who would try to loot the Herzen fortune. He did this by whisking away all those who came too close to the castle and setting them free to run away once properly scared. Uh, Sophia is dead? No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh! No! Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather, no! Please stop! <gasps> we must leave now. The whole place is starting to crumble. Come with me. What's this? What's happening? Huh? Come on, Grandfather! We have to get out of here! Be careful! <gasps> All this from a chandelier. Under doing the post-game puzzles? Uh, probably. Maybe. Uh, depends on the specific the specifics of the gas. I mean, it makes far less sense than the first game's twist for sure. Yeah, like hallucinogenic gas makes sense. Just the the explanation right now doesn't correspond with everything else. Like it to me, it doesn't make any sense that people are seeing the same like. A bunch of totally different people are seeing the same things, interacting with uh, the exact same people that look exactly the same, yada yada. 
I guess I guess this is the end. <laughs> thought, uh, thought I had a little bit more to go. It seems I've found the answers I was searching for. Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So the box wasn't cursed after all. No, Luke. There's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. The same fumes that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. Those who opened the box expected death, and in doing so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save state real quick. Just or Super Game Rob telling me that I need a microphone, and I don't know if I have that bound in. I suppose it was just an ordinary box then. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. Okay, and then on top of this, the hallucinogenic gas is supposed to make it so that people are hearing the same voice? Like, you, you could make a very distant argument that, okay, we've seen what Anton looks like in pictures, so when we see what Anton is in real life, we just kind of correlate the pictures with him because he's wearing the same clothes, blah, 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 this and that. Like, okay, you might be able to get away with that, but nobody knows what he, what he sounds like. And yet, everybody's hearing the same thing, presumably. What do you mean? I know they're hearing the same thing. I'm pr presumably. The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. N nobody's hearing old man, basically, when he's actually an old man. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. But we checked the box. It was as empty as could be. Ah, well that's because there's actually a second way to open it. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. Huh. Uh, again. All right, the sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These words are the key to opening the Elysian box. It's up to you to find a way to open the, uh, the box and solve the final puzzle. Story. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, not key config? I need controls. Control config. Uh, lid? What is lid? Oh, I need the, the microphone. I, I saw that over here. Hot key. Microphone. Let's put that at this button. All right, that's. Oh, it would be lid? Okay. Over here. Do that. Okay. Roll. And then, hot key, uh, shape, okay. 
I'm not doing anything, Captain. Uh, so let's see. The bloom blows is a classic use for DS speak, as in close the DS into sleep mode would be lid. Some games have required for puzzles. Probably Zelda, blah, blah, blah. We really don't know how to read messages. Well, I, I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, like it would, it would do something on screen. Um, but you know, it's not doing anything. Uh, let me see. So the sun rises, you and I meet. Oh, okay. I didn't know I can move people. Is there a noise? I'm, I'm, uh, I feel like there's a noise being made. No, it's, it's not working for me. Hey, holy man, Bob gifting super game of Rob with a tier one sub. Thank you very much for that. All right. Microphone settings. Use internal noise sample. Not a microphone sample. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> Struggle is real. Before I, before I get there, let me just, uh, you know, whatever. Did it, uh... Did it freeze on me? Okay. Here goes. <laughs> oh, that was the hardest <laughs> puzzle <laughs> ever. <laughs> Wonderful. What was the message that Anton left to his sweetheart after all those years? Time the time has come to find out. Oh. What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. The box must have made it to her after all. My dear Anton, are you well? I received your letter. Though I'd like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story. And that is our lovely granddaughter, Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born. But Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, though my time here is drawing to a close, I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. 
The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy, my dear Anton. Goodbye. But just for now, your Sophia. I just want to point out a really small thing that I really like. Is, uh, it was kind of hard for me to hear her because, you know, my speakers are behind. But, you know, I, I can follow along. But one of the really nice things that prevented me from progressing the text and cutting her off was that there's this little pencil there. And that pencil only appears when the voice acting has stopped. And it's really nice. And it's cool. And it's one of those little things that it's just like, thanks, video game. Oh, Sophia. I finally understand now. <laughs> your gifter icon overrides your prime one. <laughs> you feel cheated. All right, that's everything. It turns out that the Elysian box was crafted 50 years ago to carry a letter from Anton to his love, Sophia. A gas present in the material used to make the box causes hallucinations in those who open it. These visions are how the rumors of a curse began. Grandfather. Hmm. Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I am so happy we met my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. It's been so long, so very long, in fact, that I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. <sighs> Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. There's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. <laughs> also, why is the hallucination ended right now? Shouldn't we still be hallucinating? Uh, you tossed the four puzzle locations that we missed in Discord. Okay. I will check those out. What's my next RPG? See ya! Bye! <laughs> Great question. I have no idea. I'm always so indecisive. Castle crumbled, but... I mean, was that like a wake-up call or something? And that was the tale of the Elysian box, a relic feared for the fatal curse it was said to carry. But, when all was said and done, there was no curse sleeping under its gilded lid. Instead, the box was revealed for what it truly was. A vessel created to carry the love of two kindred spirits through all of time. While terror brought the box its notoriety, in the end, its most powerful message was one of love. You know, I, I don't think we solved the, the dude's murder.